place laces out, laces facing the goalpost. The next thing is you want to see this side of the ball without the laces. When you kick the ball, you want to hit around three fourths the way down. This will ensure that you get the meat of the ball and the ball gets enough height. If you kick the ball too high in the middle of the ball, the ball will be a line drop and it will not get up in the air. If you hit the ball too low, the ball will go up in the air, but will not go anywhere. Some kickers like to have the ball tilted back to the left or to the right. This is all depending upon the kicker and how he feels most comfortable. Those might depend on how the ball flies in the air. But like I said, it's all preference on what you feel most comfortable with. Me, personally, I like the ball a little bit tilted back. Now let's go over the preparatory stages of a field goal kick. First, what you want to do is line yourself up with the goal post. Then you need to take your step backs. For starters, you can use one of the most common combinations. Take three steps back from the ball, and then two to the left, or to the right if you kick left-footed. It will take some trial and error to determine which steps you should take, so we encourage you to experiment a little bit. Once you've lined yourself up and taken your step backs, you want to then be in an athletic stance. This is done by slightly bending your knees while keeping your weight on the balls of your feet. Your plant foot, the foot that will be planted next to the ball, should be slightly in front of your kicking foot and pointing to where it will be planted during the kick. Your kicking foot will be behind your plant foot and pointing toward the football. Our next step is we're going to take one little step with our left foot and then we're going to come to the ball taking steps but straight to the ball. You have to make sure you don't go to the left or to the right. You have to make sure your first step is forward and come straight to the ball. When making contact with the ball, you want to make sure that your ankle is locked out and you strike the sweet spot of the ball with the laces of your shoe. The sweet spot is located about four inches above the tip of the football. Kicking the sweet spot will enable you to get the right balance of distance and height on your field goals. Striking the ball properly is critical when kicking a field goal as it will result in good elevation and distance of the kick itself. Also, your arm, your left arm, if you're a righty kicker like me, should be out in front of you up in the air and your head should be looking at the ball. You have to make sure that you keep your head down. It's one of the most important things to kicking because if you look up, you're most likely going to hit it to the left or to the right.